Being at home and recording is great. It's the best thing ever. Touring is fun, but I love being at home. I like to be at my house, like sleep in my bed, not in a coffin-sized bunk in a bus. Having a break always makes you feel a little bit more energetic and more healthy. Not necessarily today. I prefer the atmosphere of being kicked back. You know what I mean? But I can only handle that for like two or three days, and then I need to like throw myself back into chaos. Touring is great, but I love being at home. We're in the control room at Energy right now, and we're taking some pictures for the album. And uh, so James and his crew are setting up around us, but we're actually tracking right now. I do all my tracking inside the control room as opposed to out in the big drum room where Rob would track. And uh, most of the time I spend tuning, but I have to tune before every um, pass. I probably tuned about probably a thousand times. I think a guitar sound is a pretty specific, nuancey thing. You could have four guys using the same amp. Hopefully, if someone is thoughtful enough about their sound, they can achieve something that sounds unique or distinctive. I'm using PRSs and Ibanez guitars, and I went over to Ibanez and tried out all these different guitars with like different pickup combinations. And uh, then we came here, we basically picked like the two best gu guitars for most of the stuff. So I'm basically using these two guitars. I like music that's really cinematic that has a really huge sonic landscape. I do a lot of layering of the guitar to create a really big sound. We've got the cabinets out in the main room and then you can see like amp heads and everything are in here. I can't give away all the secrets of how we achieve the sound. I'll read like guitar message boards on the internet and there's like a lot of like little fledgling guitar players on there that are trying to reproduce like 80s solos and I've gotten flack on there because I'm not like a guitar god, you know what I mean? Rod, what are you doing? I can play very versatile parts and I am very dexterous. Yeah, less is more. It's like if you can say something simply and tastefully, that's a lot more challenging to do than just to rip a fast solo. I think my dog's dead behind you. For me, it's important to achieve a sonic diversity throughout an album so that, you, you know, it maintains the listener's interest. How loud do you listen to your stuff here in the control room? Um, Don and I fight over the volume. Um, I like to listen to the music really loud. Are you joking? <laughs> I think listening to music really loud helps you to write, write better and you know, you really know like what you're doing is on. If it's super like hurt, like your ears are bleeding, that's when you do the best work. Brad's contribution was really critical this time around. He really forced us to, to take a hard look at everything to make sure it was perfect. I think hybrid theory is really good. I'm really proud of it. Sometimes I even listen to it and I go, man, how did we do that? And the way that you do it is you invest a lot of time and energy into these songs. Hi. Hi, kids. It's Chazzy Chaz here at the studio. And, uh, I'm gonna show you around. This is the fabulous place where we recorded Hybrid Theory, and we're now doing our uh, second record, which is called... I don't know. Jimi uh, Hendrix did a record here 30 years after he died. That's how cool this place is. This is Brad. This is kind of like our new vibe for the new record. He's like living it. You're taking a new direction on this one. Uh, this is the horrible art that's displayed here at <laughs> Archie. If any of you have anything hanging like this in your house, you know, just burn it and get the insurance money. This is where they keep the uh, secret stash of Pinot and Shh. Shh. And then back here is uh, the secret route to our studio. Show you. Ooh, Lincoln Park, new ring, Lincoln Park records. It's playing here. That's how you get it. Here's our lounge. Since me and Mike, we don't have a place to work, this is the place we work. And so basically, there's no fun allowed to be had in this room except unless it's by me and Mike. This is the 
couch that I slept on. That was uh, while I recorded uh, Hybrid Theory. So it's very strange to be here now, and I, all I do is sit on it. You know, it used to be my bed. This is the danger zone. This is a couple of danger zones. You want to know why? Because it never is empty. It's fully stocked all the time. It's amazing. Chips and the dip that sits out all day. And what's funny is that this dip gets here probably about, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning. And then, like, someone will come over, you know, like Mark Fiore or something, at like 7 o'clock at night. And uh, he'll be, like, grabbing the chips that have been out there and then, like, eating the dip that's been sitting out for, like, 10 hours. And we don't tell him not to. Here's this uh, cool coffee machine. The amazing thing about this coffee machine is you take these little containers like this and you put it in here. And you don't open it or anything, it just dissolves. This whole thing just kind of vanishes. It's amazing. This is Bruce. Bruce beats up people when they try to come back here. What's funny is that um, Lincoln Park has become so huge that other celebrities actually have to sign an agreement and a contract just to have the privilege of talking to me. Or Mike, or anybody else in Blinky Park. Let's take a look at some of the some of the fun people that have come by who have had to sign their their lives off to Lincoln Park. Aaron from Stained, John from Stained, even my own wife, and my son. He's only four, he's only six months old. He can't even sign his own name, but he has to sign in. Dave from Papa Roach, Jacoby, even Don Gilmore has to sign in, and he works with us. Will I am from Black Eyed Peas. Scott Stapp from Creed. Check that out. Huh? This is how we get our autographs. Pat O'Brien, Uncle Pat, Tom Wally, the president of Warner Brothers Records, the man. The only person who's more powerful than him at Warner Brothers Records is Bugs Bunny. So, just remember kids, next time you see us, you gotta have one of these in your lawyer present in order to get an autograph. The only way you can talk to me is if you sign a non-disclosure agreement. Before you're gonna can talk to me Oh yeah, oh yeah <laughs> Just <laughs> John can just come in and be like I know you guys, you know that I mean the best When I say that this is crap <laughs>